Your Stratocaster, you use one of these headstrong uh, Little King reverb amps, is that correct? I, I do, yeah. This is um, kind of a Fender ish amp. Uh, this is based on, on, I think, a Princeton amp. And uh, it's, it's an amp I know, and I, I don't know what it sounds like. Um, if, if I meet an amp like this, I'm, I'm very happy. So it's basically a Princeton. So, yeah. so let's, if you just walked in, you know how to get your sound. Now we set all the knobs down to one. Okay, well, turn up. What's your sound? Think. Oops, let's see, whoops, my guitar's turned down. Okay, there we go. I'll keep it fairly quiet for now. So treble, I mean, I'm going to start fairly in the middle somewhere, maybe slightly more than the middle. A little bit of bass, slightly less than the middle bass. Reverb, don't need that right now. Um, you know. A little bit of wobble's quite nice. How do you choose the speed of the vibrato? Do you leave the same speed all night, or do you change it for different songs? Um, it'd be nice to have the luxury of changing it for different songs, but I tend not to. It's, uh, it's, it's like one knob too many to think about, so I, I kind of leave it in the middle somewhere. Just so it sounds like, you know, the, you know pop staples or something. Yeah, yeah. It's not somewhere. Uh, and I, I, I keep it very light, so, you know, that you hardly notice it's there. So the intensity's on four and the speed's on four on this end. Yeah. I find this, you know, is a fairly well balanced sound. That there's uh, not too much bass, not too much treble. Uh, the, the middle is about right, um, and uh, I, I can get the characteristic sound of this guitar from this amp. Um, and uh, you know, in, in, a, in a in a rented amp situation, um, where you never know what you're going to get, it, it's nice to find something that's. Uh, for me, that's kind of Fender-ish, anyway. Um, some Fenders I can't get on with, it, like twin reverbs I can't get on with at all. You see, I always ask for a twin. Really? Because I, turn, I run it on like one and a half, really quiet, yeah. and I don't use amp distortion, I just use pedal distortion. Okay. But you've yeah. got a little amp coloration, a little speaker coloration. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. How, how much do you turn it up at a gig? Uh, I mean, at a gig, uh, an amp, this, this is a small amp, so this will, this will also be, be mic'd uh, through the PA system. So um, I would have this fairly, you know, around the middle somewhere. <laughs> Um, so, 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 so it's clean, basically I get kind of clean but full, I think is the secret. So, so play stage volume for us. <laughs> Time comes from the way that you attack the strings. I, I, I use really fairly light strings, uh, and I don't play very hard at all. I, I have a, a very light touch on, on, on the electric guitar. So um, you've got an eight or nine on top, don't you? I do. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. So um, you know, I mean, if, if I have that the, these these strings, that they just sound out of tune and bad. So so, so I, I I play them very, very light all the time uh, in most situations. Yeah. So player amp, we got it to sound good. Yeah. Let's try a different amp. Okay. So our first of three tests is this Magic Amps, Magic Amplification brand, kind of like a Vox AC15 clone, and 
you've never played through it. You haven't turned it up yet. I've never seen it before in my life. And um, <laughs> so try to deal with it and talk about what you find out as you deal with it. Okay. Um, if this showed up at a gig, you've got to deal with it. You've got to sure get your okay. sound. Yeah, the first thing I look at is the speaker. Just to see what brand it is. And this is... Let's look. Okay. Uh, it looks like a, a Vox. It's a Vox, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a Vox Celestian. Yeah. Uh, which I'd be quite happy about. I, I, anything Celestian is good. I, I think they're probably the best speakers around. Um, and... Uh, and uh, let's see what happens when. Okay. So already, just turning up the volume, that, that there is tone in this amp. This amp has tone. So somebody has to have no tone whatsoever. You, uh, you, you, you switch them on, and everything sounds bad. Um, the speaker's bad. The circuitry's bad, and you have to rely on on your whatever pedals you have to bring to the gig to get any sound out of the amp. But this one already sounds good. And I'm assuming that uh, the white uh, inputs relate to this, which I think says high volume, so let's see what happens with that. Let's try some tone. I bet that's the tone for this one. Oh, so that, okay, so this, are there no tone controls for this one? There's, okay. a, there's just a bass and a cut, I think. Let's see. Oh, I see a cut now. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try the other input and see what happens with that. circuitry sound a little bit more pingy to me and not in an unpleasant way um, they just have a kind of characteristic that, that sort of Vox AC30 AC15 characteristic um, which um, it, it, for me it just pings a bit more but that, that's okay I, I don't know what I mean by ping I, I can't put it into technical terms but um, uh, it's a slightly different sound but it's one I can absolutely live with and uh, certainly uh, I'd be happy to see this amp at a gig that would not be a problem. Let's see what's next. Okay. So this amp is kind of your second worst nightmare. The worst is being in, I don't know, Lithuania or Belarusia and getting some amp with broken tubes and glass all over the place. But this is as if you were on a cruise ship off Sumatra <laughs> and uh, the um, I'm sweating already. And the boiler failed in the ship and you had to go on shore and play a gig in town in Sumatra. In Sumatra, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you walk in and they say, here's your amp, Richard. Whoa, what the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> Okay, never seen one of those before, that's for sure. I'll say what it is later, but try okay. to deal with it. Okay, let's see. Okay, what I'm running. Let's see if I got it in the right input here. Let's see. Looks like the standby switch is on. Okay, try that. Okay, uh, it's a strange sounding up already. Let's see if I can get some tone out of this. Uh, let's bass. look at the controls. Uh, tweak the bass a little bit. Trouble's what we need here, that's good. What was that when you just moved? Well, if I, I'll, I'll cheat and I'll let you know. This is a balance between two different speakers, between a 10 and a 12 inch speaker. Ah. Sounds good in the middle somewhere, as a, as a, as a blend. It's a bit of a vibrato channel here. Oh, it's true vibrato, not tremolo. Ooh, it's, uh, yes, it, it's a uh, pitch changing so That's very cool. Fantastic. 
that's really good. Mm. You'd leave that on the whole gig? No, I don't think so. Uh, no. <laughs> tempting. Well, it depends on how bad the answer is. Mm. Respond very well, but you could deal with it if you had to. Just you wish absolutely, you absolutely, yeah. Um, pedal board and pedals. I mean, if you, if you if you're gonna overdrive this amp, you, you might want to rely more on um, something you bring with you, like, like, like a you know, like a like, like a you know, like a distortion pedal or something. If, if you wanted to go 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 uh, louder, more sustained. Um, I think it doesn't have a lot of sustain to it. So when you adjust the tone controls, what are you looking for? Um, is it like this? Like Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Not too hot, not too cold, yeah, just you're right. Looking for tone. Um, I think every guitar has like one good tone, and that, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, every amp probably has one good tone. So if you can find the good guitar tone, mix it with the good amp tone, uh, you can get good <laughs> tone. But that, that's what you're looking for, I think. Uh, and as you say, I, I mean, um, um, you know, I, I've seen guitar players sort of. Uh, Plug into an unknown app and just turn everything up to ten, like like bass, treble, everything, you know, volume, over you know, everything up to ten, uh, and that's fine if you're just playing flat out. Um, but if you if you ever play with more nuance, if you're ever playing dynamics, yeah, the dynamics. If, if you're playing with a band where where you're playing songs, um, and you need to play quieter sometimes, you know, you, you need to have um, tone, and uh, the tone basically first of all it's in your fingers, then, then it's in your instrument, and then, then it's in your amp. These are the then it's in your speaker. Uh, that, that's in your speaker, yeah. So the speakers are so very, very important. Um, I've no idea what speakers are in here. Probably some, um, some uh, Belarusian or or uh, Sumatran. Actually, model. it's a, it's an amp an amp that was made in Southern California by this company Universal. They also made amps under the Versatone name, and it was kind of like the high end thing, kind of like a Macintosh yeah. stereo thing. That um, Carol Kay used uh, their bass amp. Jack wow. Cassidy used their bass amp for the distorted sound. But their guitar amp. Uh, there's not a lot of magic in it, but it, mm. it's a curiosity, and it's a, you know, a curiosity is what you sometimes get on the road. Yeah, I, I mean, as uh, something that you have at home or in your studio, um, this could be an asset. I think particularly that, that that pitch change thing is very nice to have built into the amp. Yeah, but Buddy, it, it, Buddy Miller would love this, in other words. He, oh, he, 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 yeah, he, he might have one of these already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next thing. The truck broke down, you don't have your amp, you get to the gig, you see this. You wonder if Cheap Trick was there the oh, night before. Yeah. <laughs> um, a checkerboard amp, a glass works. Glass, glass, glass Vex. Glass Vex Zingaro. Zingaro, okay. I'm, I'm none the wiser for knowing any of these uh, things or names. Okay, it's an amp. Okay, uh, we're plugged in. Yeah. Well, once again, I'm, I'm going to just look, quick look at the speaker so I know what I'm dealing with. Oh, it's a Celestian Gold. Okay, that's Let's good see. news. Celestian Gold. Good news. Okay, that's good. I'm happy already. Okay, gain, 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 master, master, master. There's a presence control, very interesting. Okay. What are they all say? It's, it's OD gain, it's overdrive gain. So here's gain. And let me try some tone, I have some treble. Have some bass. <laughs> oh, that middle control. Do you prefer three knobs or two knobs for tone? Um, good question. What? That, mm, yeah, good question. I don't know. But, you know, I'm probably happy with two, but three is fine. Three gives you some more options, I suppose. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm used to kind of traditional Fender kind of amps that you don't really give that, that option. So. There it is. Well, I'll set the middle in the middle. Bit more treble, bit less bass. Don't know what this does, that probably works most of this one. CD gain, no, I'm still not doing anything. I, I think this is switchable and we aren't hearing this, we'll just not okay. worry about it. Okay. Master volume. Okay. This has a presence control, which 
which is supposed to boost what the the, 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 the lows and the highs at low volume. Or the very high end for him. Yeah. 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 Uh, th that's probably useful if you're, if you're fairly loud already and, and you want to add a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of sort of top boost. So you can hear the. Um, so it works. So just to, to let's 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 review what you did. You you basically set, set it for a reasonable volume and mess with the tone controls. Yeah. Um, I mean to to get a basic tone, um, you, you probably don't crank the amp all the way up. Um, just to see what you want to set it about halfway or something, or slightly less than halfway, uh, or set it where it's just under, under distortion, so you can actually hear the tone of the amp uh, before you start driving it any harder. So. Um, uh, you know, I suppose button number four or something. Um, on, on around, but what's this one on? It's the world, so it's got a gain control in the master, so it's hard to tell where you actually are. But, um, it's, um, you know, it's a listenable volume. Um, treble is slightly more than treble, middle's in the middle, bass slightly, slightly, slightly rolled off, and that's about it. And, um, I think it sounds pretty good. Why don't you play a little bit for us on a fade out here? Thank mm -hmm. you. 